The trial for former police, Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean began with opening statements and testimony this morning. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Prosecutors say three years ago, Dean shot and killed a Tatiana Jefferson inside her mother's home while she was babysitting her nephew. Dean's defense attorneys are encouraging jurors to listen to what Dean knew at the time of the shooting. Fox Sports Dion Anglin live now with more on day one of this trial. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, opening statements set two separate tones, as you mentioned. The state with an emotional perspective, a young woman inside her sanctuary, in her home, shot and killed, while the defense team urged the jurors to focus or prioritize the facts over emotion. Meantime, as you mentioned, the first witness of the trial is a child, a Tatiana Jefferson's nephew, who is now 11 years old. Aaron Dean is escorted through the hallway. Tight security, spectators' cell phones collected before entering the courtroom. You are going to hear that this is an absolute intentional act, an unjustifiable act that never should happen. Prosecutor Ashley Diener lays out the state's case with emotion, an overview leading up to the single shot that killed a Tatiana Jefferson. A non-emergency call about the home's front and side doors open with lights on. Then Dean and another officer in the backyard where he fired his gun through a window. Something catches out of the left of his eye. Something catches. He sees something. He turns. And you will hear... Put your hands up, show me your hands, then. And I'm talking about, show me your hands, put your hands up. It is not fast enough for Tatiana to process and follow the commands. Dean's defense follows suit. Attorney Miles Brissett encourages jurors to focus on the information Dean had on arrival, an open structure call, not a welfare check. He then referenced the city police officer training guide and that Jefferson was holding a gun. Signal 56 is an open structure. You go to that in the book, it says treat it like a silent alarm. Burglary of the building. As soon as Aaron enters the backyard, he sees a silhouette in the window. Aaron sees that silhouette in the window, and that silhouette has a firearm. He takes a half a step back, gives the commands as part of training, draws his weapon for the first and only time right then, and fires one shot. You solemnly swear or affirm. Zion Carr, a Tatiana's nephew, is the first witness, the only person in the home with her that night. He recalls cooking hamburgers, but they burned inside the oven. What'd you do after all the smoke came from burning the hamburger? We opened up the um, screen door and let the um, smoke go out, and we were just getting paper and going like that so the alarms could stop. Zion testified they forgot the doors were left open while playing video games, during which time his aunt heard a noise in the backyard. After she told you she heard a noise, what did she do? She went to get her weapon out of her purse. Where was her purse? Uh, next to her table where she worked at. Under cross-examination, he showed the jury how his aunt held a gun. Zion struggled with some details and testified he doesn't remember hearing the gunshot, only seeing his aunt fall to the floor. Did you hear anyone get shot that night? No, sir. Why don't you think you heard anything? I probably don't just remember it. Now, Zion's testimony concluded around 11.30 this morning. That was the stopping point, the plan, and accommodation for the funeral today of Jim Lane, the uh, defense attorney, the lead defense attorney who passed away recently. Testimony will get started again first thing tomorrow morning. It's the very latest live. Heather, Steve, back to you. All right, Dion, thank you.